every generation will not be confused there is a generation that will get this thing said the compressor feta pule kapas from that day the creative dimension of the prophetic there must be a performance because clear over you that every door that has been closed over your life and your destiny before now by the power that raised Jesus from the dead Karis Kolibada Shudia Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8 I am he that was dead and now is alive and I have the keys in the name of Jesus by the mystery of the key of David I declare that every door that has refused to open I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic I speak to that door Efata, be opened now access to systems and structures in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says your gate shall be continually opened it shall not by this grace upon your life find visibility find acceptance in the name of Jesus Christ you hear me by reason of this impartation everything in your life connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines territories all kinds of demonic things that came with background by the power that raised Christ from the dead it dies now please help them for those of you who God is going to be sending in ministry the fivefold ministry in the name of Jesus may you do ministry with power you will never be frustrated in ministry for those called in business those called in politics every area of assignment I empower you to excel in the name of Jesus hear me let me speak to you whoever fights you from today goes down instantly let me say it again whoever fights you from today goes down instantly because of you every other person connected to you who has not risen before now I declare that as you rise they rise as you prosper they prosper as you increase they increase in the name of Jesus Christ there is a grace called the hear ye him anointing it is the grace that can give a man visibility just because you are competent and knowledgeable does not mean your world will pay attention to you there is a grace that compels systems and structures to pay attention as God has freely granted that grace may it rest upon you to the supernatural manifold manifestations of the spirit may you begin to see it in your life and I pray for you in the name of Jesus every spirit that wants to cut short your life to see that you do not fulfill the fullness of your days by reason of this impartation we shut the mouth of the grave you are covered as you fly in the air you are covered on land you are covered by sea in the name of jesus christ hear me by reason of this impartation whatever is yours and has refused to come to you wherever it is on this earth by the power of the prophetic I command it to find its way back to your destiny find its way back to your destiny find its way back to this any one of you that has this statement that nobody has risen from your family I decree and declare you will not be the only one you will be the first and from you that narrative will change in the name of Jesus
Christ. Please hear me. If there is any one of you suffering from any terminal disease, whether it's a blood disease, whether it's any disease that comes with age, well, I don't care what it called. In the name of Jesus Christ, once it is what Jesus did not plant in your body, let it leave that body now. Let, I, I, let it leave that body now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anytime you call one man, may a nation answer you. Hear me. You will never be without help. You will never be without support. Whether in ministry, whether in business. In the name of Jesus Christ, we open them up to your gift. Let me say it again anyone and any nation that needs what you carry whether in ministry whether in business in governance who was sleeping and he had a vision and it was a macedonian call to go to a place where his grace was needed in the name of jesus those who need you in dreams and visions god will reveal you to them god will reveal you to them but before now and tried and tried your father fought it out ministry every grace that god has prophetic may that grace begin to find expression in your life and eli elisha said when he took the mantle he said where is the lord god of elijah and he parted the jordan the bible said it split hither and tither i pray for you everywhere god has granted me victory when you get to that sea may it pass there is no nation there is no city there is no territory that has rejected god upon your life while i serve the purposes of god he has not allowed me to beg for bread i decree and declare to stand by you in the name of jesus christ hear me may the lord multiply you and may you not be few may the lord glorify you and may you not be small in the name of jesus christ and finally i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead at the end of your life you will not become an unfortunate story for people to learn a lesson from Let me repeat it again that that's man this business lady there once was beyond hear me the spirits that cut short the relevance of men in the name of jesus lamp that you are part of that is destructive to your destiny we break you free from such now i stand in the name of jesus christ who is the apostle of our faith and I decree and declare in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy From tonight, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit.
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.